Hello geometry students, this is Ms. Overly with lesson 3-5, Proving Lines Are Parallel. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to use what you know about angle pairs, so recognizing them, and then use them to prove that lines are parallel. Um, we have some postulates to work through really quickly, so grab your postulate um, and theorem packet, or add them to your notes, whatever works for you. The first one is using the fact that if you know that alternate exterior angles are happening and we know that they are equal and two lines in a plane are cut by a transversal so that a pair of alternate exterior angles is congruent then the two lines must be parallel so again if we know angle one is equal to angle three then those lines must be parallel the same thing is true if we happen to know that consecutive interior angles are supplementary. So if you're given that 4 plus 5 equals 180, you can then assume lines are parallel. Before we were working the other way, now we're given some information about the special angle pairs and now we can assume the lines are parallel. Same thing is true about alternate interior angles. If we know they are equal, then we know the lines are par parallel. And the same thing is true about perpendicular angles. If we know two angles are perpendicular, then we know the lines are, par are parallel. So if we have two lines that are perpendicular to the same transversal, then the lines are parallel. All right, example one, identify parallel lines. So let's look at this picture. If we are given that angle one is congruent to angle six. So let's mark that in our picture. Angle one is congruent to angle six. Well, what do we know about these? Well, angle one is um, congruent to this angle right here that I just marked in because those are alternate exterior angles. And then this angle I just marked in is consecutive in the same spot, I should say, corresponding with angle six, so then they must be equal. Another way to look at it is angle one and angle six are alternate exterior angles to these two lines, L and N. And when alternate exterior angles are congruent, remember we said alternate exterior angles are congruent, we then know the lines are parallel. Um, so that's the converse of that theorem. So because of that, we know the lines are parallel. Um, angle two and angle three are now congruent. So we have some new information. All right, and these, of course, when we look at L and M, and the transversal P are alternate interior angles. So this is going to give us the information that L is parallel to M because of the converse of the alternate interior angles theorem. All right, last example. Um, this is one that you might see on a standardized test. If um, we're given this picture, they ask us to find M, R, Q, so that's this angle right here, so that A and B are parallel. Well, here's A, here's B. For them to be parallel, we know that MRQ would have to equal um, RPN because they're alternate interior angles, and that's um, that we know by the converse of the alternate interior angles. Um, theorem, so we could set them equal to each other, which means we can say 5x plus 7 equals 7x minus 21, and you know how to solve this, so I'm not even going to take time to do it. So they asked us to find MRQ so that A would be parallel to B. Well, we know X, so now we need to find MRQ, and we would just plug 14 in for X or substitute, and we end up getting MRQ that angle is equal to 77 degrees.